The iconic Hercules actor just received backlash for his outspoken Christian beliefs in Hollywood. But Kevin Sorbo is not just any actor. He has had enough of Hollywood's woke agenda, and he's not afraid to do something about it. It's crazy how the damage they can do to your career and how they can destroy people's lives right now. In 2010, there were a couple of incidents that just, I just said, okay, I've had enough of this. And I remember going back to my wife and saying, I've had enough of the hypocrisy where nobody's pointing it out. For many years, Kevin Sorbo fought monsters and saved the day as the world's strongest man, Hercules. However, Kevin would soon be facing real monsters, not legendary creatures. The elites of Hollywood, who concluded that his conservative opinions would not promote their woke agenda. Um, they, they said, we can't work with you anymore. And Hollywood um, you know, studios were saying, no, no, he, he's a Christian, he's a conservative, we can't work with him. And I thought, wow, this is incredible. You guys, for decades, are the ones screaming for tolerance, screaming for freedom of speech. But as you know, that's all a one-way street with Hollywood. Even in situations where it wasn't the popular thing to do, Kevin Sorbo has never been afraid to voice his opinions. However, Hollywood only accepts certain leftist narratives, and you're out of luck if you try to think beyond that box. And that's what happened to Kevin Sorbo. Well, my wife kind of warned me about it years ago. Hercules was a big hit, pardon the sin of pride, but uh, we were, by season three of my seven year run down there in New Zealand, we were the most watched show in the world by season three in 176 countries. Yeah. And, but around 2010, 2011, I started getting a little vocal. My wife said, you better watch out. Now, Hollywood's gonna come after you. And I said, all I'm doing is saying the truth. What's the big deal? Well, she was right. Man. And it was only the beginning. Sorbo was aware of the liberal views held by Hollywood's elites, but he had no idea that the backlash would be so severe. He recalled the reactions of his co-stars after knowing that he was conservative. But I didn't notice it until I got up to Canada where I filmed my second series, Andromeda. And I started noticing more on the set there when two of the actors on the show found out I was, I was conservative. And they said, you're a Republican, you're against education. And I went, I'm against education? I said, that, that blew my mind. But, I, the, but then I started, when I started doing more and more movies, that's when I started hearing people saying stuff on the set. And I would challenge people. I'm like, well, what do you mean by that? and the hatred would only increase. The real trouble began when Kevin Sorbo started speaking out more openly. He was on the Valuetainment podcast explaining how he saw wokeness taking over Hollywood. You must have noticed some sort of slippery slope in Hollywood. Like, was there a trigger point when you start to see the mechanics kind of shifting and, and, and the wokeism taking over? I've, when did I've that always, happen? I've always seen it, but I think when Obama got elected, I think 2008 was a turning point. Not because he's uh, half black, by the way, he's also half white, okay, people forget. Um, I, I just think that he brought forward a different view of, uh, of America to people. Kevin Sorbo noted the hypocrisy in Hollywood, which promises to be inclusive and tolerant, but only if you share their views. If you step out of line, you will be canceled. And that's exactly what happened to him. Over the phone, his manager and agent informed him that they would not be doing business with him going forward. The industry that he loved had turned its back on him. Only in, a, only in a way, I think I'm the first cancel culture victim before I came oh, yeah. to term. My manager and agent called me in about a dozen years ago and said we can't work with you anymore because of what I was posting on the internet. I said, what am I posting? The truth? You know, I have trouble with that? Yeah. Well, it's that Christian theme and, and, you know, conservative. And I said, you've known I've been that way all these years, the 25 years I've been with you guys. Right. But they said, well, they, you know, things are shifting within Hollywood and they certainly are, as we're all seeing. And I laugh at that because, you know, they're the ones who scream for tolerance, freedom of speech, but they're hypocrites. Yeah. It's all a one-way street. In in recent years, Hollywood has experienced a significant cultural shift. Once a place that celebrated creativity and diverse perspectives, it has now become a battleground for political ideologies. Sorbo's faith was an integral part of his life, but in the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, his values didn't seem to matter, at least not yet. The, the difference today, I think, is back then to compare to now, I think you've got to play even more of a game now. you got to be ready to, I think, bite your lip more than ever because you've got this whole woke thing, this cancel culture where people come after you and it can tear you down for something you said 30 years ago, which is insane to me. And these are the same people, apparently, are perfect people that have never, you know, what does it say in the Bible? You, you, you know, you without sin cast the first stone. Kevin Sorbo is not one to give up. He founded Sorbo Studios with his wife. His production company began making films that people actually love and Hollywood wouldn't dare produce. For the last six, seven years, every movie I do, I shoot about four or five a year. I get another actor, I get a, 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 a director and a camera guy, a makeup artist, whatever, coming up to me, pulls me aside like we're doing a drug deal over in the yeah. backside of the studio, <laughs> saying they look around and go, hey, thanks for being a voice for us. And I look, yeah. I'm going, be a voice for yourself. They're afraid, though. They're, 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 well, what happened to you will happen to me. Yeah. I go, I'm still working. He made movies that reflected his values and beliefs, 
and he actually sold to audiences that were hungry for those types of movies. But Sorbo never stopped speaking up after seeing woke culture picking up everywhere, and that caused him to be deplatformed. That this is bad and this is good. I never had that when I was in school. I never had that. If I had a math class, they taught math. It was biology, I taught biology. When I got to college, I never had any professors tell me or get angry at me if I had a different viewpoint than them. I have no recollection of any of that stuff going on. But it's changed drastically in the last 15 years. It's just, you know, it's accelerating on itself. Soon, Kevin Sorbo would see the impact of his movies. People weren't stopping him on the street to talk about Hercules or Andromeda. People were now thanking him for producing films that reflected their values. So right. you have more and more people diving into this, doing yeah. amazing work, and it's becoming, and the stuff that's coming out of Hollywood, I mean, yeah. Disney's losing a billion dollars last year because people are tired of those woke stuff, yeah. this insanity that's going on. Yeah. And, pe and people are finally waking up and saying, enough of this stuff, this is what we want. Yeah. So I think Hollywood eventually might wake up to it, but it's still, it's the independent world that's really making the big dent right now, and I don't think it's yeah. gonna slow down. Kevin Sorbo did not back down from the fight that Hollywood started against him. He was committed to making movies that he believes in, no matter how hard they tried to silence him. He has been the voice to millions of people who felt left behind with Hollywood's woke agenda. And he built something great from his foundation in Hollywood. One of the blessings, going back to Hercules, was even though it's a mythological show, the writers, without anything from me, put a lot of moral values in that series. You could see it from the 176 countries, the letters are coming in, people saying. Yes. And, and I said, you know what, that's kind of interesting. I said, that really took to my wife and I said, I want to do more movies that have that kind of message, movies that have a yes. positive thing. So Hollywood give me the boot, really just motivated more to do the movies that I wanted to do. Yeah. Kevin Sorbo has also been an inspiration to his fellow actors, who are still in Hollywood. Many of them are afraid to voice their opinions for the fear of being canceled. However, some have taken a bold step to try work with him, but they cannot just get the Hollywood woke elites to agree. To be light open against Thor Ragnarok, a $300 million movie. We were 2.3 million funded by Sean Hannity. Number two per screen average. I get a call from Netflix Monday after opening weekend saying, we want to work with you. We want to open an inspirational division on Netflix. Wow. I had four meetings over four months. Ultimately, they did nothing because their ideology is so crazy yeah. and so insane towards someone like you or someone like me. And you're like going, what? what? I, don't have, I don't have leprosy, guys. I mean, you're a capitalist business. There's 80 million homes that want the kind of movies we do. Why, why wouldn't you want to cater to that audience, get past your hate. And I could tell half the people on Netflix were agreeing with me, but they kept their mouths shut. Yeah. Kevin Sorbo has proved that you don't need Hollywood's approval to be heard. The fact that there are people in Hollywood who want to produce his movies is a good sign, even though they are not likely to work with him anytime soon. But for the audience, it's a different story. They are finally seeing films that they can watch with family without any woke agendas. And you see what's coming out there right now. You see the movies that come out. There's so much hate, anger, divisiveness. Walt Disney said back in the 50s, uh, movies and television will influence the youth. And of course, look what it's doing right now. I and mean, there's such an ignorance out there. There's such a, uh, I don't think people are stupid. I don't think young kids are stupid. I think they're just misguided, they're just misled. We Kevin Sorbo did not want to stand by and watch young people get influenced with hateful content. By stepping into the world of independent filmmaking, Sorbo was able to bypass Hollywood's gatekeepers and bring his message directly to viewers who felt alienated by the mainstream entertainment industry. Uh, you know, we, we, when we kicked it off, we said, let's do movies with a message. That was the whole idea behind it. Let's do movies. It doesn't have to be faith-based. I, I kind of don't like that term. I want to call them family-friendly movies because yeah. Hollywood used to make these movies all the time. Now, Hollywood used to do family movies. Yeah, they had, they had gangster movies and things like that, but there was a lot of good message movies. The movies had hope and love, redemption yeah. and things like that, laughter. And that's Always. what we wanted to bring back. And that's yeah. what we're doing with the, with the studios. Yeah. Kevin Sorbo's films speak to his fans. They're about hope, faith, and family. Hollywood doesn't make movies like that anymore. Movies like God's Not Dead have grossed tens of millions at the box office, proving that there's a large audience for content that isn't afraid to embrace traditional values. I don't harbor that anger and hate towards people who have a different right. point of view. I really don't, no. but they do, and they claim to be the yeah. party of tolerance. I'm getting, I'm getting through Sorbo Studios, go to sorbostudios.com. Yeah. I'm getting emails coming into there now from like these big time directors of photography, big lighting guys, big camera yeah. artists, whatever saying, I want to do a movie with you. And I look at their IMDb page and go, dude, you do all these huge movies. Right. I want to do a movie that my family and my kids can be proud of. That's yeah. what they tell me. Yeah. So we're getting some really good talent coming to work with us now in these lower budget movies because they want to be part of movies that have a better message. With the best talent in Hollywood joining him to produce family friendly movies, it can only go up from there.
The hardest thing with independent movies, and it's starting to get better now, is how do you find an audience? How do you compete against these $300 million movies with a $100 million advertising budget? God's Not Dead was like a, a, an anomaly. $2 million budget made $140 million worldwide. Sorbo's fight against cancel culture and woke Hollywood is one that continues to make waves. And as long as there are people who believe in his message, Kevin Sorbo won't be backing down anytime soon. We have to find a way, and I think the liberals got to help lead in that way as well. Um, and the, the right does as well. We got to find a way to get some sort of common ground. I still have to hope and believe that we're going uh, to eventually reach across and find a way to shake hands and be sincere about it.